Well, the reaction that we've gotten it really means quite a bit. The impact we've had on the community in such a short period of time. I mean, for a town of roughly 120,000 people, we average about 1,000 people a concert. So that's pretty darn good. And I think now we're able to expand and, and offer some educational uh, initiatives that we're, we're getting off the ground. And I think having that sort of larger impact, we're giving back to the community by no, donating some of our proceeds to some of the local schools. Um, and I think just the sheer joy that we're bringing to the community. And then not only that, I feel that we're kind of an integral part in reviving Macon's music history. Right? I think we're able to sort of set that new chapter in our history book because the shows that we've created here in Macon have been picked up around the world from Canada throughout uh, the U.S. and in Japan. Uh, so it, it was something that just sort of happened organically. Uh, it wasn't part of our five-year plan to start an orchestra. It just sort of happened uh, through a series of events um, one is my wife and I, uh, she's the director of the Robert Duffy Center for Strings. Um, we commissioned Matt to write a concerto for violin, jazz, trio, and orchestra. So we debuted part of that uh, as a preview along with what became sort of a semi-pops concert with her string students uh, five and a half years ago. And the, the success of that concert was kind of overwhelming and uh, we thought maybe we should start a pops orchestra here. So five months later, we had our first concert, which was a little crazy, but uh, and here we are, starting our fifth season. 